Welcome to my channel. I'm Yan Jingxu. Let's look at the problem circuit form in chapter 13. Chapter 13 is about fluids. So in this way, we can see first one, it tells us the density of the ice, right? Is there? It tells us special gravity. So we can think the density of the ice is this one. Also, it tells us the seawater's density at zero. Now, ask you what is the percentage of an iceberg is above the surface of the water. So now let's think. If an iceberg iceberg uh, above the surface of the water, that means that this iceberg is just uh, well, float along the water. Do you agree? So when it floats, the force must be balanced. Buoyancy equal to gravity, right? So buoyancy minus gravity equal to zero. And then we consider V1 is not in the water. It's above the water, and then the rest part is submerged in the water. The rest part is V minus V1, agree? So now buoyancy is equal to gravity of water uh, replaced by this uh, object, by this submerged volumes, right? So now we can say density of the water times the G times the submerged volumes V minus V1. And then the mass of this ice is just the density of the ice times the V, agree? Now we input the mass and F inside, we get a function, look like that. Now we can solve this equation, get the ratio for V1 over V is just this part, 0 0.105, around 10% of iceberg is around the surface of the water. Thank you.